Hi everyone, it's Nat Walsh are back again. Today we are going to, I'm going to show you how I made a card again for Sassy and Crafty. This is the stamp set that goes with, it's called Messy Hands. So you can see all the stamps there, that's how you will get them, but I get them as a digital image because I'm, you know, thousands of kilometers away in Australia. So what I've done is I've changed the I've changed the color onto these black um, stamps because obviously they're a solid image and you can do that by I don't know adding ink but I'm gonna just I changed them in my I think it was I used silhouette program so we've got some delusions paint I've cut this out of the paper rose card created two circles just got to try and read my notes and what I'm doing is obviously putting a bit of splatter dragging out some delusions ink we've got laid back lilac post box red and periwinkle blue and I'm using a paint splatter brush from Tim Holtz and voila so I wanted these to you know just to be having fun a little bit of this and a little bit of that so we've got the images here now I will apologize for the color this is the first time I tried this later on in the video you will see I get rid of this black my lights do not like it and apparently it doesn't really like to um, focus either so you know so what I'm using in my little dude here is E30, 31, 35, 37, 39, and a little bit of R20. I'm also going to use, we're going to mix and match basically, we're going to mix and match them around. So again, I'm just thinking about where his because he's got a rounded face so the outer edges of him is going to be a little bit shaded to give his little face a rounded appeal there's my r20 for my cheeks and i'll go just go over that again with the lightest color so you can't really see it too much but in the video but in real life you can trust me you can see it okay the same sort of colors with his belly and the rest of the rest of him basically Again, working on a little bit of shading down his, on his belly. Jeez, that light is, I'm really, really sorry about this light. I had no idea until afterwards. Then when I think I had a bit of a gap in between doing, doing the others and doing the rest of the bits and pieces and you'll see it will go back to that one. So I think it's just, let's look at it a little bit better. No, then it's back to being bad again I don't know with the mat that I have now I don't think it's I don't think it's as bad because you've got the white variations on it it seems to soften it down I don't know I'm no expert with this but we're going with the flow and we're working together so just checking where my little dude is so I don't need to color all of him I think later on I will go through and trim out between his legs there. I've cut these out on the silhouette. No, I didn't. I cut it out on the brother scanning cut. Gosh, I love that machine. What I'm going to do is obviously have his brush sticking out. So the colors that I'm going to use with any of the accessories, so the brushes that all the three little characters are having, are all going to be along the same sort of lines as red and blue and a bit of purple. I'm also going to add some splatter. My own type of splatter, I should say. Just in the background with the dye. I just felt like it needed a little bit. They're called messy hands for a reason, so they had to be a bit messy. So again, the same sort of deal is I'm just using that range because I had quite a few colors in ranging right from 30, e, E39 down to E30. So 
like the face and his belly obviously they're the lighter colors and I've gone right up to E39 with the rest of the bits and pieces color his head right near his ears are going to be have a little bit of darker color because it's sort of set back a little bit my hands in the way and it's making it not focus I was not having a good day apparently today that day I did do this a little while ago so I must have had the camera a little bit too close so not that you can see much because my great big hand is in the way but it would help if it actually focused so this is how it's going to look we need to cut, obviously as I said cut out his between his little legs so the brush is going to be the same sort of colors using the lighter colors that looks terrible that there we go if I put my hands down it's not too bad it brings tones of colors down the darker trying to use most of the darker colors so that's E35 there and we've gone right up to E39 so we'll just try to color him in dark colors there we go that's a bit better you can see obviously on his little ears and his tail and his feet I haven't colored it because you're not gonna see it so what's the point I guess to save yourself a little bit of time there because coloring copy coloring is not always the fastest thing if you use it all the time then obviously you can get quite good at it but it's the relaxation I find so if I've already got a plan of that I'm going to hide this little sucker behind something and I color him it's pretty much because I've just gotten lost in my coloring because I like it so we've got C4 and C1 for the little silver I don't know what it's called but on the brush and we've used some reds we've used R27 24 and 22 just going down to that lightest color my little lamb my little lamb turn the page over and have a look i'm using just my c's press pause accidentally then c4 c2 and c3 again we're going to use a little bit of r30 just um to give him a little pinkness so we're just basically putting our shadows in with this little dude he we, I want him to still be white so where his ears meet again I'm putting a little bit of shadowing so his nose stands out a little bit better and a little bit of texture in his wool he's pretty stinking cute really and the R30 just on his little knees because so he's going to have a little pink nose a pinkish nose because what I do is what I just did before go over it again in C0 just so it's not stand out and pink this little gooby is going to trim off that's better because he was not sitting because it's not it's a digital image and then it's like it's cut out it it wasn't happiness a little bit of shadowing underneath his eyes and our brush so our last little dude had a blue uh, sorry a red brush this little guy is going to have a blue one so we're using b18 b16 and b14 i beg your pardon b4 i can't read my own writing and so we had the yellow brush had uh, sorry the red brush had a bit of red paint tip and this is just me drawing it in and this little one is going to have a little bit of purple because I didn't think about alternating alternating it around until before just then so we've got v17 15 and 12 for our little paintbrush in this little I think he's an owl got a monkey a little sheep and an owl using the same browns yet again and I will trim off the top of this little one here we go 
because he wasn't sitting very straight nice the same violets in his hat so I'm just thinking about the divots in his hat going to make it a little bit darker and of course a little bit darker on the edges just to give it that rounded look I quite often do like a, a front facing shadow on my people I quite often do like a right hand right going down sort of shadow for some reason I never really do right just going back over sorry going a left orientated um, what do they call it words are hard today ah oh, it was just there where the sun's coming from where the lights light source da, da, da. where the light source is coming from again underneath his room is going to be a little bit darker and obviously to the right hand he's going to be a little bit darker too because it's wrapped around so you just got to think about where your light source I remembered where your light source is coming from the shirt we're going to use the B's the B18, 16 and 04 we're going to go back to our E's so our little monkey and our owl are going to be relatively matchy, so to speak. A little bit matchy-matchy. What can I tell you? It is freezing cold. Now, I know all my friends in America where you get snow. We do not get snow here in Melbourne. But it particularly feels a bit icy cold today. And maybe it's just the start of winter and everyone's just in denial but I feel like it's cold it's freezing even warming up in I went to bed the other night I was still like uh, my body feels warm but my toes are freezing cold anywho you don't need to know all that so it's a wet old miserable day I really don't have any stories because what am I doing I'm working I'm working and I'm working come home wrangling the blessed sons bless their little cotton socks but you know a bunch of teenage boys if they change their underwear they I'm lucky does anyone else get that like teenage boys love them but they're gross so here we've got our uh, E35 and 33 I know it's too much sharing happening in on my channel but this is me I probably do overshare to a point I do ramble on nah not at all and if you come to me and I like to I like to show you me okay I'm going to make up strange weird names and I'm going to tell you random facts that suddenly burst into my head it's what happens here's what am I doing so I've already put the foam I'm using the back of my panel to carefully check the coloring so I didn't want too much coloring on him on his little eyeballs so don't do that but it wasn't a very bright color dark color so it, it's fine but uh, yeah I wouldn't suggest you do that and I'm using a scrap piece of paper here just with my blender pens because we lightened that off a little bit and I'm just sort of making sure all the blue comes off so there's our three little do's there's our sentiment at the top which we're not going to use I'm just going to place these in I'm a little bit low but I'm dealing with a slimline card and you know they're a little bit long so I really am not about this whole do I put the sentiment down so I've just put a little bit of glue underneath his brush there we're going to stick his feet down to the foam 
and trim a little bit off the very bottom just so his feet don't stick into the next panel. A little sheep, so we're going to offset these little bit of glue behind and I will put a little bit of foam underneath the characters themselves. So they have a little bit of dimension because they're going to have part of them is going to be raised up and their feet's going to be sunken back a little bit. I'm just doing a little bit of card surgery here. A little bit and I'm using multi matte medium that's a really easy one for us to get a hold of and that's what he's going to be now I am very very lightly lightly just leaving a sort of seeing where my little holes are going to be um, I'm freehand drawing obviously some little paint splatters so these are going to be just no real rhyme or reason because i decided I, I need to do a little bit more i want them to be a little bit darker on the edges just so they look a little bit more raised up and a great big glob so i'm just drawing these in at the moment this one down here is going to have a little bit of a drip happening And because his paintbrush is right there, I decided to put a little bit of a drip from his brush. And again, this is all the same blues, all the same blues, the same uh, purples and same reds. So I'm just checking where they are going to be. And some of them needed to add a little bit more color to it. Sorry, a little bit. I was hiding a lot of the paint splatter. And I'm not worrying too much about my, you do have to be careful with pencils, but in this case, I'm not worrying about it too much because when I drew around to mark the center of my circles, A, I did it very, very lightly, and B, I made sure that the pencil was directed inwards. So when you actually look at the cards, you can't see anything. Just checking my placement. So I've got darkest around the edge. And then going down into the lighter thing, just to give him a little bit of definition. This one I actually like a lot better because he looks a bit darker. This one, the first one was a bit dark, a bit too light. I'm just working my way through all my colors. A little bit of tip to tip action. Rub out the rest that I don't really need, but it's just to give that, that idea of where my circles are going to be. I'll go through and do my red. So all the information will be linked down below. I will link Sassy and Crafty um, page down below and you can check these out. As I said, you get these as proper cards. But because I'm here in Australia and working on part of their team, uh, it can be really, really hard. You know, I don't know. Does anyone ever have a postal service that actually is relatively quick sometimes you get things really really quick and sometimes it's like super snow and delivered by i don't know a bunch of snails but i don't mean to be nasty to the postal people because they work darn hard but their information you'll get this as a proper stamp i just get them as i said as a digital image so, but be aware that, you know, digital images you can alter and change around, but I've kept this to be the, the right sizing for the stamps. They matchy matchy. So they will be linked down below. There will also be a blog post that will have um, the usual stuff, the more photos, the more information. You can check that out. And if 
you want to see close-up photos of anything that will all be there and if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel it just helps me to grow you hit that little bell and it lets YouTube know that I'm not too bad I'm a little bit special but I'm not too bad and it gives them an opportunity you know they might recommend me to someone else they recommended me to me so you know who knows what could happen that's pretty much that's my card take care see ya